2 Peter 3 9. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God doesn't choose some and not others. He wants all to repent and come to salvation. John 4 35. Do you not think the work of harvesting will not begin until the summer ends? Don't think harvesting is in the future. Look around you. Vast fields are ripening all around us and are ready now for harvest. The harvesters, the soul winners, are paid good wages. So the soul winners are greatly blessed by God throughout eternity. The harvesters are paid good wages and the fruit of their harvest is people brought to eternal life. Say this, the harvest God wants is lost souls. What joy awaits both the planter and the harvester alike? What joy awaits the soul winner on that day? John 15, 8, the Lord Jesus said, By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, that you bring in a lot of souls, so you'll you will be my disciple. Pastor Bev and I, along with the full-time pastors of this church, are trusting God to double this church this year in the name of Jesus. All we have to do to achieve doubling this church this year is for each person to bring someone to church this year and disciple them. Now, I didn't have that many amens this time. Let's make a quiet decision today. Let's use our faith to trust God to bring somebody to church. If we can trust God for finances, we can trust God to bring a soul to church. If we can trust God for our healing, we can trust God to bring somebody to church. If we can trust God for our family needs, we can trust God to bring somebody to church. Let's use our faith and pray for our neighbors who are lost, our lost friends, the ones we work with that don't know Jesus. And when we spend time praying for them, God will show us the right moment to invite them to church. And when they come, they'll get saved. Are you out there, family? Let us accept this responsibility and begin immediately to intercede. Now, how many of you will join with me in this challenge? Can I see your hand? I would like you to pray with me then. And make a commitment to God. Can we do that? Raise your right hand. Say, Father God, I raise my right hand in the solemn pledge to pray for all those lost people that I know. And then, at the right time, you will let me know. I'll invite them to come with me to church. Even if I have to bring them, I'll do so. I am determined to bring to you one person this year who will find Jesus. And I know when I bring that gift to you, I'm bringing you a gift that you value as much as you value Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for helping me. I believe I will do it in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present, and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.